screaming, competing with a loud crackling on the fire. This amateur cell phone video capturing where neighbors believe the fire started. Maddie Hess heard an explosion and went to her back porch to investigate. It was incredible. Like, I couldn't even stand on my back porch. The heat was so amazing, and the smoke, it was, it was hard to breathe. Neighbors believe a gas can and a motorcycle gas tank exploded. This is also what Durante Smith saw as he started knocking on doors. He helped a half dozen people and their pets escape the flames. Call me a hero, but really, you know what I mean, I was just doing what God blessed me to do, or what I would, you know what I mean, told me, I guess, guide me to do with my heart, you know what I mean. The fire devoured 10 row houses, displacing 23 people. Some charred ruins are still smoking. We left out of here with the clothes on our backs and our animals. I had two dogs, I have two dogs and a cat. I didn't get the cat, but luckily he hid somewhere in the basement. And uh, when I came back last night, he was covered in soot and uh, came right up to me and I was so happy. Yes, yeah, so that's a bright point to all of this. Neighbors can't believe the bad luck in just getting help. The fire station is right across the street. One neighbor banged on the door only to discover the crew had been dispatched to another call. And I called 911, but the operator was busy. So I stay on hold, and by the time they got here, two more houses already caught on fire. According to authorities, two hydrants near the fire turned out to be dry, broken. But the tragedy is also bringing out the best of people. Keith Reinhardt wants to donate money. I live in the neighborhood, and, you know, I'm just feel, you know, it's on my mind, and, and these people need a start. They have nothing. Today turned into a salvaging operation for many of the fire victims. One man only had one thing left, and that was to pick up scrap metal to sell. Restoration Church of Curtis Bay is taking the lead in donations. They urge anyone with who wants to make a donation to stop by 4710 Pennington Avenue, 10 to 4 on Mondays, Wednesdays, or Thursdays. Reporting live from Curtis Bay, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.